Hello and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Fluent to save our data in Vapor applications. So Fluent is basically Vapor's object relational mapping tool, which means that it acts as an abstraction layer between the Vapor application and the database. And it is designed to make workings with the database very easy. So using Fluent has a number of benefits. The biggest benefit is that you don't have to use the database directly. So when you interact with the database directly, you have to write database queries as strings and uh, which aren't type safe and can be very painful to use in Swift. Fluent benefits you by allowing you to use a number of database engines, even in the same app. So basically you can use uh, MySQL or PostgreSQL, all of these databases within the same application. And finally, you don't need to know how to write queries since you interact with, the, with your own models in a very swifty way. So models are just a swift representation of your data and are used throughout Fluent. And models are the objects you save and access in your database. So Fluent gives you a very type safe model when interacting with the database and it gives you compile time safety. So throughout the series, I'll be creating a Vapor application called Periodic Table. So let's open up Terminal to get started. So we can start by creating a new project using the Vapor Toolbox. So this would create a periodic table app inside our Vapor directory. Great, our project has been created. Now inside the periodic table app folder, I would like to create a new model named periodic table. It's the best practice to create your project file outside of Xcode. This lets the Swift package manager, which is used by the Vapor toolbox, to ensure that they are linked properly. Now we can open up Xcode. Okay, great. Now we can just head to configure.swift file and we can delete this line because we are not making a to-do app. Similarly, we can go to roots.swift file and we can get rid of all of this. This is just a boilerplate code that Vapor provides. And now in models folder, we can just go to periodic table.swift file and here we can define our model. Now your class must conform to the codable. So in this class, we're defining three variables. The first one is the ID, second one is the chemical symbol of the element and the third one is the chemical name of the element. And we'll also define an init method to initialize that object. So all of this would be very familiar to you if you come from the iOS background. So now we're going to make the periodic class table confirm to the fluence model. So this first line tells the model which database to use, which is SQLite database here. And the second line tells Fluent what type of ID we are using, which is an integer in this case. And the third line tells Fluent the key path of the model's ID property. So all of this code can be improved further if we simply confirm to the SQLite model. So we can change this. And this will conform to all of those three properties. Now to save a model to the database, you must create a table and Fluent does this by using migration. Migration will allow you to make reliable, testable and reprodu reproducible changes to your database. These are commonly used to create the database schema or the table description for your model. They are also used to put data into your database and make any changes for your model after it has been saved. So to make this model conform to the migration class, We'll just add another extension and that's it. Now we can go to the configure file and at the end of it where we're configuring the migration, we can just add our model here. Now as I mentioned, Fluent supports many databases within a single application. So that's why you have to refer 
to that exact database here. Now we'll just make sure that this scheme is set to run and we're running on my Mac and just run the application. So if you are getting this error here, this can be fixed simply by going back to our model class. And here we can add the type alias database. And now we can run this again. So you'll be getting something like this in the console when the application is running. So this means that it's running successfully on this local host. We can stop the application for now. Now, when the apps user adds a new element to the periodic table, we're gonna want to save that object. So Vapor, as Vapor uses Codable, this makes it very easy. So Vapor provides a class named content which is a wrapper around Codable and it allows you to convert models and other data between various formats. So here we can just add another extension. Now, since the periodic table already conforms to the Codable, you don't have to add anything else here. And now to create an object in the periodic table, the user's browser will send a post request which will contain the JSON payload. And we'll be requiring a route to handle this JSON payload. So we'll be requiring a route to handle this post request and save that into our database. So we can do that in our routes file. Here we can create a post request to accept that JSON. So here we have created the post request to accept that data. And the user will provide us with the periodic table class, which we are wrapping inside of a future. And here we will decode that to the periodic table class. And here we're using the flat map to method to convert that future back into the periodic table data. And at the last, we're using the dot save on method to save it into our database. So let's go ahead and run this application. We can just copy this URL, open up our Postman and we can test this out in Postman. So I'll just paste the URL here, add our endpoints to this, which are API slash element. Set this as a post request and we'll add our parameters in the body. And we can send this request. Great. Now, this object has been created in our database. We can stop the server here. So that's it for this video. We have created our first post request for this application. In the following videos, we'll be making a fully featured periodic table app. Thank you guys for watching.